Three. What are Corsten comic books? You're gonna find out. Hello everyone, we're back again. My name is Jason and this is my channel from Heroes to Icons. I wanted to talk to you today about a very unknown comic book company called Cross Gen Comics. Um, I was going through my books and, you know, all of this uh, ridiculous controversy and the uh, I like this and I don't like you and I don't like that stuff in the comic book community has become quite a... Uh, boring to tell you the truth and um i'm this is going to be my first video i don't know how many of them i'm going to make but uh the series is going to be called why we love comics and uh these books to me are very near and dear and uh cross gen comics was this uh startup company i'm not going to go through all the who owned it and this and that or whatever because that's irrelevant they don't exist anymore but ultimately uh, this man created this new independent comic book company with uh, one big gigantic storyline with all of these different books and has some really awesome artists and awesome writers on it and ultimately you know the comic book company failed went under and just like everything else it was bought out by Disney <laughs> But I have these books here and I wanted to share them with you, not just uh, sit and rattle off and talk and just uh, have a slideshow of pictures, but to actually show you the books that I have. And um, I have a ridiculous amount of these books. I think I have all of them that were ever printed. But these books, um, not just because they're you know good reading and good artwork, but uh, I got a lot of these books signed before they were encapsulating books and before that became a big thing and all of that. But um, these guys, these creators, are some of the best uh, people in the business. And you wouldn't, you know, when I say these names, you're gonna be like, what, who? Yeah, you know all of these guys. You know them, they're famous now. You know, they're working for Marvel, they're working for DC. You know, they're making strides and they're making controversy also. But um, in 2002, me and my wife went to Chicago to Wizard World and it was one of the best Comic-Con experiences that I've ever had in my life. I haven't been to many cons after that, but uh, these guys really made it worthwhile. They were nice, they had one of the biggest booths. They were there early, they signed whatever you gave them. They did sketches, they answered questions, it, it was just awesome. There was no uh, controversy, no drama, no nothing. It was just uh, the comic book creators and the fans and it was just great. And um, you know, to me Cross Gen was one of those things that you just wished just worked. But uh, you know, this is a perfect example of biting off more than you can chew. And when you have a certain amount of success, you should just be you know, not to say you should be happy for what you have, but, um, you know, everything in its season, everything in its time. So, enough talking. I'm going to show you some of these books. And uh, here we have one of the first books released. And this is Mystic. Obviously, this is like, you know, a Doctor Strange type book or whatever. Sword and Sorcery and this and that. And it was uh, written by Ron Mars and drawn by... Brandon Peterson in the beginning and after it got into the high double digits it uh, switched up uh, artists I believe uh, Aaron Lopresa did a few books or whatever but um, this was one of the first books that came out I have all of them I think I have about four or five of these signed I do have a number one signed none of the books that I'm showing now are signed those books are put away the second book here is Sigil this was by Barbara Kiesel and Ben La. This is about a, this is a military book, almost like a Star Trek-ish type of book. And it's uh, based off of this character here. And uh, every character in every different book has this cross-gen symbol here somewhere on their body. It's called a sigil. And each uh, 
sigil gives the different person a different super ability. And uh, they were fighting these lizard type aliens, you know, conquest of the universe and all of that type of stuff. Very good though, very good. Ah, here is a book that is signed. Surprise, surprise. This is uh, Meridian. <laughs> and this book was done by uh, Barbara Kiesel with art by the now super famous Joshua Middleton. And later on, this book was drawn by Steve McNiven, who everybody knows is like a Superman over there at Marvel now. And he, I think he did a very famous for his run on Civil War. And this book, you know, is about a princess, you know, lost her kingdom and this and that, this barren guy. She has a sigil, and also later on he gets a sigil, but you can't see it because of his cloak, but I believe it's on his throat. And to me, one of the best books of this whole cross-gen universe, and this book is also signed, is Sojourn. And she is like a Robin Hood type character. And um, I believe this was one of the books, personally to me, that started all the, uh, you know, the women of power movement and all of this type of stuff. And this book was written by uh, Ron Mars, and the artwork was done by Greg Land and some of the uh, in between books by Greg Land, I guess, was catching up. One of the other ones was done by June Brigman, who she works, or well, she used to work at the Joe Kubert School of Cartoon and Graphic Art. Really, really awesome book. And this book is also signed by Greg Land at the top. Have we here? The first, which I guess this book was pretty much kind of like the Olympians or the Asgardians. These were like the gods of the cross-gen universe and all of them had superpowers of some sort. They were like super ridiculously powerful and it seemed like everyone from all the other books either served or worshipped these characters here, which was pretty good. This book was done, again, another book by Barbara Kiesel and the artwork was done by Bart Sears. Signed by Bart Sears here and signed by Barbara Kiesel there. I guess I brought it all up my uh, <laughs> signed books. Another great book by another great set of guys. This book, uh, Crux, is actually the story of the Atlanteans in the cross-gen universe. Very cool. And uh, all of the members of Crux has a sigil, but as you can see, it's much different than everybody else's from the other books. And this book was signed by Mark Wade, who's the writer, and the art was this, is done by Steve Epting, who uh, we can be thankful is uh, a co-creator of Winter Soldier. We got another sword and sorcery type book, Scion by Ron Mars, and the now super famous Jim Chung, who is now doing Justice League. In this book, another prince in distress, and uh, this book was pretty cool and um what can i say these these books were just awesome it's like what 10 years now 12 years now that these books are defunct but uh, i really haven't heard anybody talk about these books or anything like this and like i said all of these especially the artists like a lot of the writers have been in the industry for a long long time but all of the artists that uh really cut their teeth on these books are really famous now. We have uh, my favorite book of the entire cross-gen line and one of my favorite writers is Negation. This book right here, to me, I'm a science fiction dude, and this book right here was the best book out of all of them. The main character, this guy right here, looks like an old John Stewart. He didn't have any powers. He didn't have a sigil. He didn't have any powers or anything. But he was like the Captain America of the bunch, just with a laser gun. Uh, awesome book. And uh, this book actually took characters from every other book, and they were kidnapped by uh, this sect called the Negation to uh, see what their grand plan was going to be for like the entire 
collection of books. It was going to be one giant story. And this was done by uh, Tony Bedard and Mark Wade, and uh, one of my favorite, favorite uh, artists by Paul Pelletier. And I got, a, I got a sketch from Paul Pelletier also in my sketchbook. And this is signed by Tony Bernard and uh, Paul Pelletier. Good, 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 good stuff. And uh, they started like a third run of these books. And uh, gotta love the Japanese stuff. The Path by Ron Mars and Bart Sears. He gave up doing the first and he started this uh, samurai book about a monk that was, uh, I think it was the Battle of, what is the Battle of Sekigaya? Some such like that. But uh, some giant Japanese battle. Everybody died except for the one guy. And I believe one of the first came down and spared his life. And he received a sigil, which was pretty dope. You know, medieval Japanese type story also signed by Bart Sears. Like I said, these guys were signing books away and just had a great time at the convention. Another uh, Kung Fu type book. Uh, total, total fun book. Almost like uh, watching Jackie Chan in a comic book. The Way of the Rat was uh, another one of my favorite books. His book was done by uh, Chuck Dix Dixon and the artwork was done by uh, Jeff Johnson, who does some of the best fight scenes in the industry. He's not one of those super big guys that everybody knows about, but he did a run back in the day on Wonder Man. It was fantastic. But this book right here, it was pure fire. And some of the covers that he had, he had a connecting cover that had like a main character. And in the background, it had a connecting dragon in the background. Fantastic. And we start getting off the beaten path and getting more into the how they're doing the independent books right now. We had Route 666. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing picking this book up, but it was crushed in. So I guess I got it and this chick was let out in this of an insane asylum because she was having visions. But I guess this book was kind of similar to the television show Grimm that came on came out a few years ago on NBC and she could actually see like monsters and stuff she wasn't crazy really good book and um another book off the beaten path very 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 nice by Mark Wade and Butch Geis and this has to be some of Butch Geis's best work Ruse was uh very much like a Sherlock Holmes or a Perot type book. Love the, uh, you know, if you like Batman and all that other type of stuff, he's Batman without the mask and the gadgets. Super smart, like Sherlock Holmes, uh, in a Londonish type setting or whatever like that. Awesome book. I cannot complain about anything Cross Gen did really, except for failing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we have uh, Braith by Chuck Dixon and Andrew DeVito. And uh, this was like a cross between Braveheart and Gladiator. Or uh, even I guess more people would uh, familiarize it with Spartacus. You know, you got the barbarian guy who's like the leader of his people fighting against uh, the quasi Roman Empire or whatever like that. And he's captured and made a slave and he's forced to fight as a gladiator. Um, Andrew DeVito killed this. I don't know where he disappeared to, but he did a couple of books for Marvel after they went out of business, but oh my goodness, Andrew DeVito's a beast. And another book by Chuck Dixon and Steve Epting, uh, a pirate book, El Cazador. I think this book was only like six issues before the company went out of business. And, um, it was just good, good stuff. I mean, anything that Steve Epting puts his hand to is just fantastic. And after they finished their run on uh, Winter Soldier, Captain America and all of that, they did a book called Velvet, which is like one of those post-Cold War espionage type stories. I got all of that too. Fantastic. But um, really, I love 
I just love cross-gen so much. And, um, you know, it's not just about uh, how much the book is worth or if it's a key issue or, you know, if something important happened in, in it. But um, that's another one of my kids coming in, just like the other one, opening doors that they shouldn't. But anyway, um, we love the comics because we love comic books. We follow the writers, we follow the artists, and this, this is really what it's all about. Not about, you know, your Hulk 181s and, you know, your amazing fantasies and your giant size X-Men's and all that. All of that's good. You know what I'm saying? Getting your books graded and all of that is great. But when you have a great story, great writers, great artists, and just uh, very well-made comic books, you know, these books had some of the best digital color, some of the best storylines. You know, it's just a well-put-together piece of material and um actually bought another set of negation mint condition just awesome and um i would implore you you know if uh you're curious to get these books i mean obviously most of us are buying books now with all of these artists and writers on books that marvel or dc is doing don't just get caught up in the hype and the uh, argument of what's better or what's key or what you can make money for, all that's good. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, everybody got their bottom line. Everybody, you know, want to flip something, make a couple of bucks, who could have the 9-8 this, who got this signed by that one and all of that. That's good. But, you know, for the love of the game, for the love of the art, for the love of the story, you know, we collect books, Pretty much because it's an escapism, you know. We look inside these things, and it's it's just a nice way of escaping normalcy. You know what I mean? You can talk to your friends about it. You go to the cons and this and that, and, and it's just the camaraderie and the love of the books. I hope you guys like this. Uh, I'll be doing some more videos. You know, Marvel, DC, Image, and everybody else is coming. But I wanted to talk about cross-gen and just, um, you know, they're gone but not forgotten. And I, I, I definitely, I'm going to get some of these books graded. You know, I mean, obviously, these signed ones I'm going to have to send to uh, CBCS or PGX because they were not witnessed. But, you know, I was there. I got the pictures. And, um, you know, just continue to follow me as I give you a... Uh, just more great videos, more great comic books, more great art, you know, like, share, subscribe, don't forget, uh, you know, thumb it up, thumb it down, whatever you want to do, but um, we're going to be here, and I uh, hope to see you soon, take care.